CISSP practice question. CISSP practice question. Firewall rule allowed too much. Just a quick note before we begin and approach this practice question. This is not about remembering port numbers or which protocol does what. This is about proving you understand the role of network security in enforcing business intent. When you configure a firewall, you're not just opening ports, you're defining trust. You're drawing the line between exposure and resilience. That's why the CISP exam tests your ability to interpret policy and, and not just, you know, network traffic. You got to stay sharp. And like, I don't know, if you're deep in CISP study mode right now, stay there. You're building more than just knowledge. You're building judgment, the kind that organizations depend on when everything's on the line. Okay? Here's our CISP practice question. Rymar Tech's internal security audit revealed that a perimeter firewall rule allowed inbound traffic to a legacy server using any source IP and any source port, as long as it was destined for TCP port 8443, points if you know what that port is. Although no breach occurred, the auditor flagged the rule as critical and a misconfiguration. The rule was originally added to meet a time-sensitive vendor requirement. As the security manager, what should you recommend to align firewall configurations with long-term security policy? Is it choice A, require quarterly firewall rule reviews by the operations team? Is it choice B, remove the rule immediately and block all vendor access until the risk is reassessed? Is it choice C, replace the rule with a limited allow list of vendor IP addresses and source ports? Or is it choice D, establish a formal firewall change control process with approval and expiration dates? If you're thinking like a manager, the correct choice popped out in front of you as soon as you read it. This is not about rewriting a single rule. It's about fixing the process that allowed a risky rule to go live without oversight. You see, the, like the base, basically the exam is asking if you understand the difference between tactical fixes and long-term governance. Which one do you think is going to win out every single time? A CISSP doesn't just plug holes, they close the valve upstream, like I talked about in my last video. So here's why the other choices fall short, and I'll tell you the correct choice afterwards. Actually, you'll know what the correct choice is, because that's the only one I'm going to say uh, isn't, isn't wrong. For choice A... Quarterly, quarterly reviews are helpful. Why can't I pronounce that? Quarterly, 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 re quarterly reviews are helpful, but they're too infrequent and reactive to catch critical changes before they become a risk. Review is not prevention. Remember that. Removing the rule without context for choice B could disrupt business. Security has to be part of the solution, never an obstacle. Blocking access without coordination invites conflict, not compliance, and senior management does not like that at all. And choice C, limiting IP addresses, is a technical improvement. Um, yeah, it's not tactical. It doesn't solve the policy failure that allowed the risky rule in the first place. So what you have to do is choose process over panic. Security is not just what's configured. It's how configuration changes are approved, tracked, and reviewed. A firewall rule should never be created in a vacuum. There should be a request, a justification, a risk assessment, and an expiration date, which is why Domain 7 security operations, when they talk about change management, is really important. This is how you scale trust in an enterprise envir environment and instill confidence in senior management in you, the CISSP, because you're not just guarding ports in a firewall or ports, external ports coming in. You're guarding the decision process that controls them. That's your job. So choice D is the correct answer. You want to establish a formal firewall change control process with approval and expiration dates. And if you work at a pretty large company right now studying for your CISSP, you probably have that in place and you see it every single day. All right, guys, every practice question you take is a vote for your future self. Not every day will feel productive. You'll feel lazy one day. You'll feel frustrated one day. 
you feel like giving up, especially with like a lot of things going on right now. And if you have a family and you're taking care of them, it's just overbearing. But it all counts, guys. You're not studying to pass an exam. You're training for real life decisions where people will turn to you, the CSSP, and expect clarity, confidence, and leadership. So keep going. Study tired. Study stressed. Study even when it feels pointless. Because one day soon, someone will ask what to do in a crisis, and you'll be ready. If you join my CSP course for a month via the link below, uh, I thank you for your support. I hope it's worth it, especially if your exam is coming up in like a month from now or two months, okay? Think like a manager, guys, which means always think upstream. Take care. I'll see you next time.